Welcome to the 1st of November 2020. A new month and definitely the seasons are moving. There are still spots of colour but they're becoming increasingly rare, remote and clinging on by their fingernails. And as the seasons turn, you know, your attention is drawn to the other features of the garden that you kind of don't notice all summer. The bark on these trees, for example. Now, these were all sold to me as one kind of tree, barring the couple of Jack Montier that I've got at the very end then, new ones. But clearly, as you look at the bark, and in fact, as you look at the leaves as well, there is definitely different things going on. This is a different kind of tree. However, they are all lovely. And uh, these maples, field maples, are um, really turning a beautiful buttery yellow now. But then, you know, this season you have the berries, which are fantastic. This is um, a bit of old hedgerow, and you've got the cotoneaster against the brickwork and the stone of the wall. It's an odd shaped plant, but it's very helpful, and it stops John from hitting the wall when he comes out of the garage. Everything has a purpose. And in the greenhouse, the cuttings are all coming on well. I haven't killed anything yet. I'm in charge at the moment because Jack is on holiday. Well, he's on paternity leave. But I wanted to introduce you to the secret weapon in the garden arsenal, which is the polytunnel. Not here at Gasper, about a mile away. And uh, as you can see, Jack has been busy. We're looking forward to next year when all of these little seedlings will come on and be plants and we'll find home for them in the garden. But yet it now you kind of think, where will they all go? But, you know, we found homes for about a thousand new plants this year. And lots of those were annuals, so we'll find more next year. Those are some steeper gigantia that we've picked up from around the garden. And this is a, quite exciting, this is a, a steeper elegantissima, which is, we're going to use to replace all of the nacella tenuissima that failed. But it's just full of plants and it's so much hope for the future. It also means that the garden here can all be front of house and all be focused on looking glorious. Which, as you know, it's the time of year and these grasses are fantastic. And today was a pretty grim day, but it's been very windy and just watching the grasses as they move in the wind gives me so much pleasure, the different angles and the way they move. 